Hello, friends. Uh, we'll start. I mean, I'll, I'll probably brief you today about Google Webmaster Tool. Again, this is not a kind of full blown tutorial on how to use Webmaster. This uh, tutorial or the so called introduction is, is primarily targeted at smaller businesses, people who are less technical, how you can use Webmaster tools by Google to promote your website. So uh, again, this is for non-tech users, so don't expect me to give you a whole nine yards on uh, how to use the advanced tools. It's going to be just basic tools. This is your login. If you just need to go to google.com slash webmasters, uh, just a little intro, webmaster tool will only give you details if you only have a verified website. So you can verify your website by adding a analytics code snippet into your website so that Google knows that this is your website and starts recording the data. Um, with the webmaster tool, Google gives you a little bit more of an insight into when it, it gives you an options to submit your things and submit your links and submit your uh, sitemap. And, and to check the slightly more advanced stats. So this is this is your login screen. You just have to click to sign to Webmaster Tools. All right, this is your main dashboard here. We have a few of the websites which are on Webmaster Tools. We'll only take our own website, Abacus Desk, as an example site. So just just to give you a little heads up on this area here, it's Google logo. This is your main app screens like you must be familiar if you're using google products this is how it runs across these are your settings that master tool preferences you don't need to go in there these this is your main navigation and this is probably would your, be your display area so we just need to focus here if you want to add a site you can click here and add a site again you have to either verify it using that code or if you already have google analytics code installed in your website it would verify it from there so essentially once you're here, I believe that this is something that you've already taken care of. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's let's see here. This is the website. Let's see. These are all. You can have multiple websites under one dashboard, so that's not much of a concern. Let's click abacusdesk.com. So this is how. See, this is this is your main dashboard. Now this is interesting. These are your navigation areas like these these are the different areas which google webmaster would tell you about this website and then this is your main display with where it will show what what's going on so you'd see crawl errors 27 pages not found saying you are a letter zero server error zero no followed zero so it knows you are a letter this year like this is the main dashboard search query it will just show in C, it's showing that there is significant rise in the search queries queries that makes me happy impressions overall between 1183 impressions and 14 clicks so impression is is uh, it, how many number of times or, or whenever your website is is seen in the search results it's not essentially mean that somebody has opened your website it's it's seen in the search results. It's I mean every time somebody is searching for like your product and your website comes in the Google's list. That's one impression for Google. Uh, okay, here it's talking about the sitemap. It says no sitemap submitted. Uh, that is strange because I think we had one submitted. I know it's saying no sitemaps. Anyways, all right. Uh, now let's go to the sites messages. No messages. Let's go to search appearance. Here it talks about the structured data, which I don't want you to get into right now. If you're a smaller business, this is something slightly more advanced. So you can leave this section. Uh, the important section is, which, which you, I think wanted to again forgot, is, is submitting the sitemaps. It's pretty easy. You can use any of the online tools available to create a sitemap, add it in your website and just submit the URL here and bingo you're done with it so it's it's very necessary it's very much required that you submit a sitemap the sitemap is, is how Google would realize Google would would crawl your pages so I mean that's how Google says that these are the number of pages which are there so okay search traffic this is important search query so this kind of gives you 
how the searches are coming on your website. As you can see, it gives you an overview here. Top queries and top pages. 883 search queries have led to our site being shown. So it's from June 27th to July 27th. There have been 24,000 impressions and there has been a 9% increase in the number of impressions. There has been a 3% increase in the number of clicks. So these are the two things that you really wanna want them to go up. And then uh, this is the kind of graphical representation of the same thing. So on day to day basis, as you can see that 5th of July was the or say, July was the day when we had the lowest, lowest point. Only just 384 impressions and 6 clicks. And uh, essentially peak here was 21st of July where we had 1300 impressions and 22 clicks. So uh, impressions versus click is your click through. It's the CTR. Now these are the search queries which our site is getting ranked on mostly. So it's V Tiger versus Sugar uh, Sugar CRM. This is one of the blogs that I had written, and you can see it's got 305 impressions and 48 clicks. So fair enough, it's like kind of decent. Again, second query two is Sugar CRM versus VT V Tiger. Then it's our own company's name. Then again, series of the one talking about country company as you can see interesting thing is if somebody is looking for us and using this as search query out of 55 impressions you see the number of ctr goes up that itself means that they know what they are searching for so they just so they obviously if you are searching for abacus desk and shows up you click that's why the click percentage is high so uh, essentially what what you take it from here is these should be the most relevant queries that your business should be should talk about and the CTR should be high that means you're, you're getting impressions and people are clicking and this talks about the average position for those keywords so like for we tiger which you're going to talk about sixth and fifth it's kind of uh, on the first page and again we tiger sugar I think this has been the most famous blog I've ever written true tiger we tiger sugar this is what it is. Then it's e-commerce. This is kind of important for us. E-commerce development company. It's again, this is kind of gotten us 422 impressions for only four clicks. Now, this is something that we need to worry about. It's only one person click through. Why is that? Uh, the part of the reasons it can be that the meta description that was written is not appealing enough for people to click. So that's the mostly is the case why why you have less CTR. CTR is is a click through rate. Click through rates are lower, usually lower because people don't like what they read and they don't click through. So I mean, you have to really come up with really nice descriptions. Small. We changed it. I hope probably next month we'll see some result. Again, AWS Redmine, a blog with that we written, VNV Tiger, e-commerce development 605. Again, good ranking, but no CTR, only two, two clicks, very bad. So we need to work on that. Uh, web design company India, very poor rating. Web design India, but we still, we still we are getting impressions, 284 impressions in two clicks. So only one person conversion, CTR. Again, you can see mostly it's V Tiger versus Sugar CRM. I think that blog has been a consistent hit. Documents required for payment gateway. Good position, 14% clicks. So I know you're getting some traction there also. So essentially, this is what you need to see and kind of make your decisions and how things things that you can change. Go to top pages. Now this shows up your the pages which are getting most of the juice as we could have realized it's free tiger free crm comparison that's the page it's getting most of the juice second is installed at mine uh, and it's mostly the blogs that i've written written which are getting most of the traction so okay this is, this is the one that i've recently written so this has also got some traction here so that's good all right, so I think you've got the point here. So this is kind of gives you a brief overview. Again, if you, if you want more detailed analytics on which browser is being used for your website, which devices, then you can go to obviously go to Google Analytics, and I'll cover a, another lecture for that. 
search queries is done talks about the links to your site these are the sites this i mean nipan.com has given us 31000 links amazing nino bambinos and places these are the sites which are linking back to us okay international targeting okay we need to have href language tags to to see this action happening in international pages all right the other thing important here is apart from getting a brief overview and submitting your sitemap is is checking your index status here kind of google tells how many are the number of pages which are indexed by google so you see it used to have 45 pages indexed up till Twelfth of January, two thousand and fourteen, and and after that we have now we have kind of total three hundred and three and two pages indexed. That's a good rise. Uh, can go to I mean, you need to go to advanced content keywords. Is what design mostly SEO. This is what the content keywords we have. Just remove URLs. You don't need to use that. Okay. So this is important crawl errors crawl errors will kind of tell you how much difficulty google is having in terms of getting you indexed so see the crawl errors are we used to have 14 12 12 12 6 6 and it's gone down so it's like no crawl error now again we have 27 not found pages which we need to change probably we do it to redirect of these pages again this crawl errors i mean mostly it shouldn't be any server errors if they are not found they don't have much effect but these 404s they don't have generally have great effect but i mean if you have if you, if you are getting a 404 error it should be it should rather have a redirect rather than having an error uh, that is that security issues and it will tell you if you have any security issues say for instance if you have a bug in your website or a, or a, or a malicious code then you can obviously use inform this section that oh you know what we have fixed that bug and please remove the warning from the website search results so yeah that is it i think uh kind of a brief overview on uh, google webmasters i'll i'll probably get back to some other recordings and and keep you updated on analytics and other recordings as well thank you thanks for watching